Annette Künkeler, Charité Universitätsmedizin Berlin. A CAR T-cell approach for solid tumor attack. Good afternoon, everyone. My plan is to cure kids from children using their own immune system. That's why I spent three years as a postdoc in Seattle learning how to do this. And the way it works is that you take out the T cells from a patient, modify them genetically, and put them back into the patient. And when I say modify them genetically, it means that you put a so-called CAR into those T cells. CAR stands for chimeric antigen receptor, and as the name says, it's a chimera between antibody and T cell receptor. And when a T cell has now a car, the T cell is able to specifically recognize an antigen and to kill the antigen presenting cell. In our case, the antigen presenting cell is a tumor cell, it's a neuroblastoma cell, which is a typical pediatric tumor. And so our neuroblastoma cells express CD171 as the antigen. In preparation for a clinical trial, we performed a safety study in rhesus macaques. We um, showed that those CAR T cells are effective in a mouse model, and the clinical trial enrolling kids with neuroblastoma and treat them with those CAR T cells is open since the end of 2014. And if you look on the bottom left, you can see that we tested different versions of the CAR constructs called short, medium, and long, which um, stands for the so-called spacer length that determines the distance between the tumor cell and the T cell. So if you have a short spacer, the two cells are relatively close by to each other. If you have a long spacer, the T cell and the tumor cell are relatively far away from each other. And when we move now from bench to bedside, we had a really interesting finding. We saw a huge discrepancy between our in vitro and our in vivo data. So if you look on the left on our in vitro data, you can see that the blue one is clearly the winner. It's the one with the highest specific lysis. But when we put those CAR T cells into mice, the blue one totally failed. So when we had a closer look what was actually happening, we realized that the blue one was so activated that the T cells actually underwent um, activation-induced cell death. So for the clinical trial, we decided to move forward with the red one because we thought too much T cell activation could be a disadvantage. But however, looking now at the 15 patients treated with those CAR T cells, the red one might not be enough. Actually, we think we need um, the blue one, and this is where my research is focusing on, how we can be able to use those highly activated um, T cells to attack um, solid tumors, how <coughs> we're gonna analyze the influence of the tumor itself it has on T-cell um, effector function, for example, on T-cell metabolism. And my clinical focus is to bring this really promising therapy to Berlin. Thank you for your attention.